Yeah, this game's broken now. Everyone, welcome. We are playing Plants vs. Zombies Broken. Welcome to the show. Today we are going to be featuring a broken game with broken rarity changes and broken cards. Briar Rose cost four? What just happened? What just happened? This kind of act no, it's a it's a glitch. It's, it must be it's an optical it's optical illusion, guys. Alright guys, show's over. It's not it's not real. It's not actually this didn't this didn't actually actually happen, right? I'm not doing better character I'm not doing anything like that. I'm doing freaking Briar freaking Rose. That's what I'm doing right now. Well what what is this? Are you kidding me? Flower decks are gonna be smashed open, broken, disgust. Maybe they're not gonna be that good. All legendary deck? Look at this. All right, well, the first thing that we gotta do right now, the very first thing we gotta do is go through and look at what exactly has changed in this game. Um, I actually did get an email. Uh, this is gonna be explaining everything that's changing. So first of all, you got two new heroes in the game. You got Beta Caratina, and you got Huge Giganticus, brainy, sneaky. So, Citron and uh, Super Brains are going to have replacements now. They can use their cards, and it looks like they have these really, really awesome changes. Maybe we'll start with that. Maybe let's start by looking at the heroes. This is the way they're coming out now. It seems like you have to buy them. I wish I could just buy it with gems. That would be a much easier way of acquiring this guy, but it seems like they're making you get it in packs. I don't know. Should I start opening packs? For these now, they want everyone to spend tons of money and on packs and maybe get these. Uh, it doesn't seem like a very good deal. Eventually, these are going to be available some way without getting them actually in a pack. They let you buy all the heroes just straight up. So, all right, let's 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 take a look at exactly what's happening here. This is Be Beta Caratina. Here we go. It's a double name with a hero with a double. I don't know. Okay, Beta Caratina replacing Citron. Let's just let's just go through. Ah, there's no no need to mess around. Okay, so this, let's start with maybe her superpower. Superpower is, okay, cost one is usual. Genetic amplification. It's a root superpower trick. Who cares? Conjure a two-cost plant. So you make a two-cost plant for one. It's going to be something random. It gets one one. So it's, for all practical purposes, like a random three-cost plant. It gets amphibious and it gets team up. Like, what? Are you kidding me? That seems like an amazing card. It gets plus one, plus one. I mean, this thing, even if it's just a 2-2, two, two, you get a 3-3 three, three team-up Amphibias for one. Which is just a... Man, that's lower end. Man, imagine if you get, like, a Juggernaut. That'd be disgusting. Anyway, this looks like a really good card. Looks like they all summoned. Okay, when played, move another... Oh, it's another little guy. So this one, again, you play it as a... It's a guy. So her... Seems like her superpowers are, are guys. When played, move another plant or zombie. So you can move something around the field. This is also a good deal. You get to move something around. You get to... I mean, this is definitely above average when it comes to powers. Uh, I'll take it. Here's another guy. One, two, one. Okay. Team up. Okay. When played, conjure root. It just draws you a card. Plus, you get a little two, one on the board. I mean, this is like Immortitia's superpower plus plus. I don't think I'm going to use the root synergy. Who cares? Uh, but that'll at least give you some card. Hopefully that'll be a good root as opposed to a horrible root. And um, this is a seed superpower trick. Conjure two tricks. So this would actually be good with Captain Cucumber, which she cannot get because that's the Mega Go class. Conjure two tricks. So you just draw two cards. Uh, this is like a worse version. This is actually a lot wor worse version of Holoflora. Holoflora will give you two cards that are in your deck and have synergy with your deck. This just gives you two random pieces of garbage, and they can end up being freaking tactical nuke and kook and whatever cuckoo tactical cuckoo guy thing. And, uh, yeah. Seed superpower tray. I don't know, seed. Anyway, this one seems like it's horrible. This one actually really makes her a little bit more balanced. So I think this is a very useful trick. This is about slightly above average. I'd say this one is... This is about average, and then this one's below average. Okay, it's not totally freaking broken. The, the superpower is really good, though. Let's look at exactly what happened uh, with this guy. We're going to be going through exactly everything. And Okay, here's Huge Giganticus. He seems really small, though. Why are they calling him Huge Gi... Supposed to be big? Looks like an imp riding a roller coaster. Anyway, all right, what do you got? Terraformer 10,000. They ran out of, like, you know, multiples of 1,000, so they went up to 10,000. 
Science Imp Superpower Trick. So, by the way, this will buff, uh, just disclaimer, this will buff your interdimensional zombie. Conjure an environment. All cards in your hand cost one less. Whoa. Conjure an environment. So, you get it. I bet the conjure happens first, just because of the order of the card. Conjure an environment. Some random thing. Okay. So, you get a card, plus everything in your hand costs one less. This looks like it could be really good for tempo. I mean, imagine you had a Pogo mix of Gravedigger in your hand, and you play this on turn one. You're going to be able to Pogo mix of Gravedigger on turns three and four. Just one random example of how this could be amazing. Yeah, oh, he has a big hat. Okay, that's why it's huge, huge, gigantic tuchus. Okay, next one. One cost, two attack, three health. Zo Is this a zombie? Wait. Sports Imp Superpower Zap. See, I, I think you're going to actually have to play this in the... For the Caratina, it didn't really make a difference uh, which, which you know, if, if it was a trick or a, or, a, or a guy. But this is actually a guy. This looks like a 1, 2, 3. This is also a great tempo play. Uh, you know, Tempo Super Brains was a pretty good deck, and it could be with the huge Giganticus. We're going to have to find better names for these guys since they have really long names. So we're just going to call this guy uh, Gigantic... And uh, we're going to call it uh, Carrot. <laughs> Carrot and Gigantic. Uh, huge. Maybe we'll just call him Hugh for short. Huge. <laughs> Hello, Huge. Uh, okay, Bullseye. While in environment, this gets plus one, plus one. So this seems like a very, very good card. Um, it's about a two, it's about a two, two and a half cost card. It's not a trick. This really does seem very good for a non-super, you know, seems above two. Most of the non-supers really are cost, well, cost two, and then this one really costs three. There's a lot of examples of how that works in the game, for the most part. Um, happens to be, with the uh, ex exceptions of telepathy and holoflora, those cost three, but uh, those are very good ones. All right. See you also in the boss. Teleportation station, and this is an environment. Start of turn, if there's a zombie here, gain a teleport just in your hand. Just get one of these teleports. Which is pretty cool. So start of turn. So you have to get a zombie to survive there. It seems like he's really emphasis. The emphasis of him is on the environments, and uh, with Beta Caratina, it's more like on the guys, like on the tempo, on the on the swarm, on the zoo value. All right, here's Ice Moon. Super. It's another environment. So it's, two of his things are environments. Can be playing this during the trick slash environment stage. Zombies here get strike through. When played, freeze all plants here. So this will, it's it's sort of it, this really is sort of like, um, oh, that's interesting. It makes a permanent environment when played. It's sort of like the big chill. It doesn't draw you a card. Instead, you you know it creates this environment. It's like a strike through environment. This seems like it's uh, below average for a power. So again, this seems like crazily good. Um, this seems like above average. This is about average, I think. And uh, this is going to be... This This would actually be very good with Trickster. Um, because you can gain a lot of teleports and charge your Tricksters, perhaps. Uh, this seems a little bit below average. Alright, so I guess all the all the heroes really have... Like, the, their power super is usually good. And then above average, average, and below average. Alright. Now let's go through the... I, I think the new heroes, in a way, is going to be, like, shadowed in comparison to what happened in the collection here. Let's just go through these one at a time. One at a time. I do have a list here that PopCap sent me. That was very nice of them. Thank you, Sean at PopCap. Boom! For sending me this list. Real appreciate it. And, um... Ba -dum -ba -dum -dum -dum. Did anything here change? Okay, we'll go back to it. We'll just remember we have some new cards. And go. Okay, so I'm going to do them in the order of this list. For some reason, they list the Kablumi first. We'll do this. Mushroom Grotto is more expensive. This is a great, great, uh... This is an, an amazing, amazing, I think, change to Mushroom Grotto. Now, this does not ruin Mushroom Grotto. Usually, you're not playing Mushroom Grotto necessarily on two anyway. Usually, you're not pine cloning on four. It's usually too dangerous to be do that to all your mushrooms. You usually want to, like, shoot for two pine clone on five. So, you can play this on three, maybe make some kind of weird turn four play, and then really mushroom, you know, shoot for two pine clone. That's the main use of Mushroom Grotto. Mushrooms, mushroom decks were too good. The, the mushroom pine clone molecule, it was way too good. This does not nerf that deck a little bit it's i think the the pine clone decks are still going to be amazing but uh, i really hope the zombie decks got better because it looks like some of the plant decks are just going to become insane too so all right um it says here the next one is medula nebula is more expensive maybe let's switch over to the zombies real quick I'm not doing this in any particular order i'm just doing in the order of the list so i don't miss anything they're saying medula is more expensive and that seemed not to happen i they <laughs> Maybe this will happen in a future update. Apparently, this is 
supposed to cost three now, but anyway, I don't know what's going on with that. Uh, that seems not to happen. So Mendula still does cost two. And let's just keep it going here. Maybe that's, maybe, I don't think Medula really needed to cost three. I don't think it's that good. It is circumstantial. It wastes a card in your hand. It wastes two brains, and you get three, and then it is a very circumstantial card and unreliable, and you can't really build a deck with Nebula, relying on getting Nebula, because you're not necessarily going to get it. Ah, first of all, it's legendary. Second of all, makes little buddies next door. When played, heal your hero for two. So this is just another card with Wall Knight. I mean, this is just another thing that works with the with the heart of choke. I mean, this is just another healing card. This has become a very good card, by the way. I mean, this in terms of guardian, we found a guardian card that can heal you too, which is unprecedented. Uh, actually, there was actually no such thing as that before. Um, I'm sure the little buddies are going to be guardian cards too. It doesn't make a difference. Uh, so this is a legendary. <laughs> this is really awesome. All right, next walnut bowling is cheaper. Walnut bowling costs nine. Wow, so we did a ramp walnut bowling that went like 10 and 0, and <laughs> this is just, this costs 9 now. This is, I think, is going to be, this is really, really powerful. Happens to be that the uh, that big expensive cards have become worse in set 2 since there's been a lot of cheap cards, good cheap cards added, but in fact, this costs 9. This is actually a really strong card now. Um, all right, next one. I don't know why they sent me in such a weird order, but it's apparently Sergeant Strongberry. Sergeant Strongberry has four attack and four health, so it, it's still not a great card. It's it's definitely better now. It doesn't die to, I don't know, three damage guys, I guess. Um, maybe, I don't think this really makes, this really justifies it. The main thing that would make Sergeant Strongberry better is if they would, you know, get rid of the way they messed up the block meter and make these Sergeant Strongberry loops happen. But anyway, this is fine. It's a card that needed a buff. It's decent stats. It's a four, four, four. That's it's good stats. So maybe, maybe it's, maybe this will actually this can make, make very positive trades. Maybe Sergeant Strongberry is a thing. I guess I'll give it a shot. And Colonel Corn, <laughs> Colonel Corn is bigger. Colonel Corn, which was a, a we almost never used Colonel Corn before. Uh, when play, do four damage. Doesn't does Sergeant Strongberry doesn't die to wrath? Okay, so uh, this do four damage to each zombie. This was an almost unusable card before. I think it still is not going to be used that much. Just it fail. It really pales in comparison to the uh, other legendary that it shares in this class, which is Dandelion King, which is very easily followed up by Grapes of Wrath. To then come on turn eight with Colonel Corn, I don't know. It's I don't know if the one extra health and one extra attack is really going to make this card uh, amazing. But hey, you never know. I'll we'll give it a shot. Uh, party time apparently changed. Party time, first of all, has become super rare. 2-2. <laughs> two, two. When a plant does a bonus deck, draw a card. So again, this you this was the old stats of party time. Party time originally in this game, I don't know if originally, but it, before it got nerfed, it was 2 attack and 2 health. It became a 2-1. It's been useless, and now it's gone back to, to 2 attack and 2 health. I don't know what is the flip-flop. It doesn't seem to be that good of a card in the first place. They have made this super rare. Maybe we'll give party time with coffee grounds. I have not yet tried that. I don't it seems very unreliable way of drawing cards. Usually the party time you want to keep in your hand um, and wait until, uh, you know, until you have a banana star strike, something with uh, bonus attacks kind of built in and then stick this and draw a bunch of cards. But the Mega Girl class is ma mostly powerful when it comes to tempo, so you don't need to draw a lot of cards with the Mega Girl class. Usually you're just... Uh, you're, you're, you're just finishing them off by the time you're a Peat Moss and your Banana Saurus Rex, you're kind of finishing them off turns 5 and 6 anyway, so that's one reason why this card is sort of useless, and to play this on 1 as a 2-2, two, two, eh, I don't really know. I think it's, I think Click Bees, I think the new event card that I bought early access, this starts as a 2-2 two, two, and the next one makes them all 3-3s three, and 4-4s, four, I think this is still a lot better. Anyway, same class, use Click Bees instead, don't use, don't use this thing. Alright, Snapdragon is now tougher. Snap Dragon, Snappy Snappy Dragon, the Dragon is three two nice. So this this is definitely a, a better card now. It doesn't just die in vain to freaking rats and I don't know little one damage uh, shots. Kanga doesn't kill it. There are a lot of bunch of things in the game that do one damage. So I like this. I I want. I hope Snapdragon becomes great again. We used to use it a long time ago, and when the crazy classes like Brainstorm and stuff like that. Uh, really made a comeback. We kind of lost sights of Snapdragon a little bit, but this might be a really good card, and this might be a good complement to Briar Rose in, in a Rose deck. Uh, it's possible we'll do that today. 
All right, so Magic Beans. <laughs> Here we go. It became super rare. Shuffle four Magic Beans to your deck. Draw a card. Amen. Amen. This is exactly what I wanted to see happen to this. Now it doesn't waste. The whole problem with so Magic Beans before, it does give you these awesome cards in your deck. But first of all, not only does it cost two sun, it wastes a whole card in your hand and gives you, until you can get one or two of those Magic Beanstalks, it gives you a permanent card disadvantage uh, for, the, for the game. So the fact that this draws a card makes it a lot better. It also, you know, will draw these Magic Beanstalks faster and cycle through the deck. Totally worth the count. Oh yeah, now it's totally worth the cow. Before it was worth nothing. Before it, he would have to give me a cow to give me give me these magic beans. Brainana became stronger. Happens to be in the <laughs> Brainana's also legendary. Look at this. Uh, happens to be Brainana again. Um, the zombie loses their brains. This is confirmed. This is a four three. Uh, so this has become significantly stronger. You can't. Don't worry about it being rocketed because when you play Brainana, they obviously can't play a rocket science that turn unless they have two gentlemen zombies on the field. Um, I, I think this is an amazing card. This has become legendary. This was one of the top, you know, top five cards uh, last season uh, in the game. It happens to be, again, trick decks are weaker. They haven't added a whole lot of good tricks to the game, but Brainana is probably still a force and, uh, it, you know, prevents them from playing environments and such. So uh, I, I, I think this is great. I, I like that. Okay. Uh, Winter Melon is cheaper. Amen. Once again, and it's 4-5. Nice. So it is still vulnerable to rocket science, but I think this is fine. It has extra health now. It became tougher and cheaper. That's how bad people used to ask me, "What's the worst? What's the worst legendary?" I'd say Winter Melon, and I think Pop Gap agreed because they made it cheaper and stronger, uh, which means that it wasn't it wasn't good before. But this this could work. This could really be the next. Uh, the fact it's six is very significant because this just makes it the next step kind of con continuity in a uh, freeze deck. You can go turn four, Winter Squash, turn five, Jolly Holly, which is a necessary part of any really top tier freeze deck, and then turn six, Winter Melon. I'm definitely giving this a shot. This is really, really good. And, um, all right, let's see what's going on. Uh, Winter Melon, Great Zucchini. See, I don't think they're going to talk about the rarity changes. We'll maybe go through. Apparently, Winter Squash became super rare. Where is Winter Squash? Oh, there you go. Winter Squash is super rare. Look at that. So, again, maybe the, the, you know, the cheap, this didn't get any better, but the cheapening, well, the invent of Jolly Holly and then the cheapening of the Winter uh, winter Melon probably really does make this card better. So, okay. Um, the Great Zucchini got bigger again. <laughs> you know, this card used to be a 5-5. Five, five. They buffed it to 6-6. Six, six. Now they're making it 7-7. Seven, seven. This is a really, really strong card at 7-7 seven, seven now. Uh, we didn't use great zucchinis that much. They are very good to follow up your your um, your dragon fruits because the dragon fruits pre prevent them from playing tricks. And then the next turn they're gonna play minions, so you just nerf them with the great zucchinis. So this is a nice one-two punch in the smarty class. Always happy to see the smarty class, which is still one of the weakest classes in the game, uh, getting buffs. But uh, man, maybe maybe the smarty class is gonna make a comeback now. All right. Uh, okay. This is what is this? Chomper. Uh, hold on. Great Zucchini. Okay, next one is Twin Sunflower. Twin Sunflower apparently costs two now. We're gonna get to this one in a second. Don't worry, guys. We're gonna... Twin Sunflower costs two. I would actually like to use this card at some point. I think this actually might be useful now at the two costs uh, for a ramp. You're gonna have to wait till, again, it's very, very weak. It only has one health, but it does have team up, so it's not just a total just ramp card. It can protect one of your guys, uh, especially with Briar Rose. Maybe this is really a thing. This 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 could be a really this could be a really good card. Um, I I want to I want to try Twin Sunflower again at two. I think that's good. It was the wor This was the worst super rare I think besides for Chomper, which is the next one on the list. Uh, <laughs> Chomper now has two attack and two health. Yay! I got an extra health. I think the thing should just have three attack and one health, and then it would be worth it. It would be a removal card. It would actually have some power. It gives you a two two on the board. Look, I. I don't know why anyone would ever use this card still. Maybe the extra health. I, it doesn't really seem to make much of a difference. It's just too weak. And Hammer usually is cheaper and just, just better. So, anyway. It, it, it has extra health. Maybe this eventually become a 3-2. That would be nice. Okay. Um, now we're going to move on to some zombies. No, now we're going to move on to some plants. This is the one, though. 
This is the one. Briar Rose costs four. You don't understand. Briar Rose was not a bad card. I haven't really played Briar Rose this season because it's kind of paled in comparison to some of the other things we were doing uh, with this class, especially with the Heart of Chokes and stuff like that. Now this costs four. I'm making a flower deck today. I don't know what you guys look at this. First of all, legendary, rightfully so. I thought five would already be like really, really good. This thing costs four. This is, this is, the, I think this is a broken card. We, it, she was very useful at six. Now it's four. I mean, you can literally play a ramp card on turn two and play this the next turn. You can play Solar Winds on turn two and play Briar Rose on turn three. And it's just, how do you break through? How, what do you do then? Man. Yeah, all right. Someone's saying in the chat that Winter Squash destroys gravestones with cool beans now. Rip mixed up Gravedigger. I would love to see that again. Anything that can nerf gravestones, I would love to see, and buff freezing. So, I'm. I, some people don't like think freezing is too strong. I think freezing is too weak, actually. So, I, I hope that happens. Uh, maybe we can make a freeze flower deck just to check that out. Anyway, alright, moving on to the zombies. I'm just doing this again, just in the order that they sent me. So, I don't miss anything. Alright, hey, look. This is super rare. <laughs> There's going to be some rarity changes. They're only going to send me the ones with the um, with the stats. They didn't send me the actual rarity changes yet. Uh, but anyway. It seems like everything's got stronger except for uh, the medulla and the uh, mushroom grotto. They're all buffs. So they're making, okay, so this is super rare. Okay, anyway. Well, if we notice them not, the main thing is the stat changes. Now the rarity changes. Deep Sea Garg apparently has six, seven attack and seven health. Look at this big guy now. This has become a good card. Wow, this is a really strong card now, actually. Again, it's it's a liability to play anything that costs more than five. Uh, that doesn't have some sort of ability. You know, Amphibious doesn't really count because it just removes so easily. And it can be really anti-tempo. But I love this buff. Maybe this will be a thing. It definitely makes Garg Feast better. Speaking of Garg Feast, where is Garg Feast? Oh, we're going to get to that in a second. I think Garg Feast is going to cost 11 now, which is going to be amazing. Okay, next. Wow, Nurse is 6-6 six, six and is legendary. Wow, the healing is real. This is a great card now. Holy moly, these stats. This is really good. And it doesn't die to freaking, freaking, uh, what a frog, gobble, gobble guy, whatever his name is. Uh, you know, the, the dude, the, the toad, toadstool. That's nice. I like that. It wasn't strong enough before. Now, this this would actually be good in control. In a deck where you're actually, like, control Boogaloo, where you're kind of ramping up, you're, you're controlling them, uh, this will definitely be a big card that you can put together with Garg Feast just while you're stalling for a turn. I like that. Um, all right. Next down the list. Okay. So there is a rumor that Afterlife, when destroyed, bounce this Octo Zombie. Oh, it doesn't even... They haven't changed the definition of afterlife. It just says when destroyed, bounce this. So it goes back in your hand every time you get it. So this is unlimited Octo Zombies for the rest of the game. Holy moly with this. This is really good. I don't think this is broken. I think this is balanced. I think this is what the Beastie class needs. The Beastie class has always been the weakest class in the game. Uh, on the on the zombie side, arguably in the whole game. And the fact that they are finally giving the Beastie class... Good, solid finishers. I mean, just compare this card to Plankwalker. Plankwalker was always better. This card really is is comparable now. I mean, again, it's slow. You play it. They kill it. They use a Shamrocket on it. You got to play it again. You play it again. But you can... Wow. This I, I like that. I, I really like this buff. I don't think it's broken. I think it's balanced. I think it's going to balance out the game. And I want to see some good late game decks now, especially in this meta that they swarmed the, the game with so many really powerful cheap cards. I, I like it. Um, all right, next, Octo Zombie keeps coming back, Portal Technician, we're going to move on to the Brainy class, Portal Technician costs five, oh, <laughs> it was not a good card before, this is a decent card now, uh, I'm, I'm, I'm interested to see actually how good, if this is a competitive decent card or still just a fun card, this might be a competitive card, the stats aren't that bad, the stats are actually pretty good, so, anyway. Oh, Click Peas was good. We did try that today in the, in the stream. There's some new event cards coming up. I'll click on those in just a second. Uh, I'll go back and, and do the event cards and maybe notice some of the new rarity changes as we're going. I'll do that at the end of this. Aerobics Instructor is now stronger. Here's the crazy class. Wow, 2-3. I like it. This was too weak before. It was so easily taken advantage and, you know, loss of tempo from 
um, from fire peas and stuff like that. Now, th it still is a problem to play this card because it's not a gravestone. You know, it really any deck that, again, the reason, the main problem with dancing decks and, and sports decks and things like that, uh, the reason that they've been weak is just because if you're playing a zombie every turn, the plants can react. They can play a minion that perfectly counters that one, or they can play a minion in a different lane that's stronger. They can always counter you. That's why it's been mostly the trick decks and the gravestone decks that have been good. It's nice seeing the regular zombies that are not gravestones becoming stronger to be maybe, you know, balance it out a little bit. Who knows? Maybe Robux Instruct will make a comeback. This actually has become a super rare now. I don't. I still don't think this is going to be amazing because it's still e very easily taken out. But hey, maybe you can start teleporting this in. Who knows? Maybe this will be good <laughs> with Brainstorm. Anyway, um, Discotron now has Grave Sounds. See, Discotron was another card that we never really never really was that great this has gravestone now when it pops out then it makes the three one and the one one which is really strong because that especially that three one that three one it, first of all the three one and the one one can't be just removed off field cleared off the board which very often happens um the three one is a very powerful attacking guy three damage just on the side is is very very nice and the one one can chump block i like this and this i i would love to see dance i would love to see dancing Dancing zombies, dancing decks, dancing synergy make a comeback. And there's not a lot of synergy with them, but it seems like Flamenco is still the same old thing. But hey, maybe this will make Flamenco better. All right, Gargantuar's Feast is now cheaper. Amen. I can't wait to make some more Garg's Feast now. Garg Feast decks. Uh, it was too expensive at 12. Really, with all the ramp in the game, though, combined with this being cheaper, maybe Garg Feast actually will be a competitive card. I think this is... I think this is good. You're right. It happens to be the... Uh, I see someone in the chat going and saying that maybe Grave Buster will be good uh, on Discotron now. But the idea is if you have a deck with expensive gravestones, you got to have some cheap gravestones too. And there are a couple of cheaper ones like the Jester and stuff like that. You basically use those to sort of absorb their Grave Busters and then you play the more expensive ones. Uh, I, I like this Garg Feast. I think this is great. I, I can't wait to make another Garg Feast deck. So... All right, we just have a whole nother wave of decks now that before I've even finished doing all the set two <laughs> legendaries and using them and, you know, in their combos, we're finally we're getting so many new ideas. I'm making a flower deck today, though. Team Mascot is tougher. Four health, not three. They did this. They really did this. Wait, where is... Oh, boy. Oh, boy. <laughs> they didn't even... I thought they would, like, make this, like, legendary now. Team Mascot has become a viable card, ladies and gentlemen. There is almost no plant card that can take this out. Or I'm, we're talking about Repeater, Ken. This is good. This is a uh, Hammer. Okay, you're right, Hammer. And did what? Maybe with this card, maybe Hammer is going to become... You need, like, an answer to the Hardy class. I hope that this card will make Sports Deck into it. Sport Decks into a thing. Happens to be, we did get Cosmic. Uh, there are some pretty decent sports cards, but... This sort of was the heart and soul of sports cards, and it was so weak when it had three health. It was so easy to remove. I mean, almost any plant card, any plant card with three, you have to put this on the board on turn three, and any plant with three attack just kills it for free, and you lose all the tempo. But there's almost nothing that can, there's very few cards that can take this out. Um, this, this is amazing. I, I'm, I'm, I'm really happy about that. That is really cool. I should have really saved maybe some of my cards instead of recycling them, wait, waited until the rarity changes, and then then recycle them. Because I'm pretty sure when you recycle uh, these cards that have had rarity changes, you'll actually get more sparks. Um, for example, yeah, this does give you 250 now. So Anyway, let's keep going here. Wow, sports decks. Okay, so we're doing, tonight we're doing a flower deck, and tomorrow we're going to do a sports deck. And click peas, you're going to have to wait, click peas. <laughs> Zombie coach is stronger? What? Wow! Yes! Yes! Whoa! This is a this is a really strong card now. Man, this thing didn't give you it used to give you a little 2-2 on the board. Like, who cares? This it itself is protect. You don't even need to protect any other guys in order for this to be good. Just tempo sports decks are so good now. I mean, look, it's really hard. It's hard to take out Arm Wrestler on one. It's definitely hard to take out the Gladiator on one. It's hard to take out two, Sumo on two because that's a, that's you know that's a gravestone. This sometimes can give you amazing tempo. This is a great tempo card. This is a great tempo card. Defensive end anyway is good. You got in this in this class. You got Intergalactic Warlord just to buff all your guys again. I, I think I think this I think this sports these two sports cards getting buffed is gonna make the Hardy class, which especially in this 
in this uh, set, Galactic Gardens has just become so weak and so pathetic and so hard to do anything. We're going to be making some sports decks. I see weed sprays become super rare. Okay. But uh, anyway. All right, let's move on. I'm, I'm happy. All-Star Zombie also got a buff. Are you kidding me, mate? Wow, this is a 4-6. This has really great set. This is like a 4-7. It's better. 4-6 in armor is better than 4-7 99% of the time. Unless they have like weed whack and damage on this. Whatever it is. But um, I guess it does still die. If it had 7 in health, it wouldn't die to freaking freaking tentacles. But you know, anyway, it would have zero attack anyway. This th I like this. This is great. It wasn't a very strong card before. And oh, the sports. Sports are... You can just play this on turn 5. I mean, if they have some hard removal, good. But... Just turn five turns. You don't even need the intergalactic warlords. We'll use them, but man, what is this? Uh, we're going for next one, Zombie King. <laughs> Zombie King has two attack now. It still does the same thing. It has ability to protect itself, so it's also not like a useless. It used to be if they could kill your Zombie King. Two five isn't like terrible stats for four, by the way. It used to be if they could kill your zombie king, they could, you know, it would be such a big tempo swing because the zombie king wouldn't do anything to that that guy. But now, you know, even this against Bananasaurus Rex, which is still a good combo for this, at least it's going to damage the Bananasaurus Rex and make it a little bit vulnerable. Instead of, you know, it'll be a 4-2 next turn instead of a 4-4. Four, four. It still dies to Hammer, and this is maybe going to be a card that you're going to have to be running Chompers. This has become legendary. So maybe Chomper will become good because of this card. Just think in the four slot. And, uh, all right. That looks really, really good. Some of the hero quests have changed with the rarities. Like, they don't tell you to craft, uh, you know, super rares anymore. So, uh, yeah. Wow, this looks good. All right. I'm going to go through and just look at the new event cards that are coming up uh, real quick. And we'll see if we can notice any rarity changes. I'll try to keep one eye on the chat. This actually did become super rare. No stat changes, but that's a good candidate. Holy moly. I, I'm, I'm just, oh, look at this card, forget me nuts, Tommy Tricks costs one more, I love this card, I, you can play this on turn one and not worry, we're talking about their super power tricks are going to be one too, I really like this, this is another anti-trick card, dang, I love this card, I'm, this is going to be, you can make tempo with this, just in, I think this in tempo grass knuckles is going to be amazing, because then they can't, Wrath you on three. This will make Black IP better in Grass Knuckles and Juggernaut better. This is going to make... I think this is actually a tempo card. It's also a flower. It's also... A, there's another... Wall Knight is becoming too good. Stop making Wall Knight good. Wall Knight's the best hero now, by the way, guys. My new... My new... My new... Uh opinion wall knight was our one of the best i mean the kablumi class is becoming worse i'm so happy about this mushroom grotto that was so broken before and i don't see any rarity i'm sure i'm gonna be missing some rarity changes but who cares grapes of wrath is still super rare uh here's atomic bomb we're gonna destroy make seedlings next door so this is cool those seedlings will be you know one of them will be protect protected i i think this has potential i don't know it's gonna pale in comparison to pine clone and molecule in the same class, but who cares? Of course, we got click piece. This was early access. This is a great card. I'll show you that before. Black Eyed Peas, super rare. Uh huh. It's kind of annoying. This is going to be hard to get now for new players, but it's a really good card. This is, <laughs> this is legendary. I'll take it. I don't know what's going to be. Beta Caratina, the super powers. I don't think they're OP. I think the again the super is very very good. One of them is good, average, and 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 below average. The three powers. So. Uh, that's, again, I haven't tested it. I'm sure my opinions and all those things will change when I test it. No new event cards for the Megaro class, thank goodness, because the Megaro class is strong enough. Just got click peas, too. Uh, any rarity changes? Just kind of scanning to see if anything looks fishy. I don't notice anything. I have three winter melons. I actually just got a, no, a third winter melon in a pack, so I'm really, really happy about that. Um, could use almost a fourth one now. Three would probably be good. Yeah, all right. No new Smarty event cards coming up. Too bad for that. Taco super rare. Heal four draw cards. It's the same thing. I don't know. This is very circumstantial. Very, I don't know. Anyway, this had to make it super rare. I guess because heal decks and the solar class is going to be amazing. So I just had to make the super rare. I don't really get it. Uh, there's so many good solar cards now. Holy cow with that. Magic Beanstalk. I looked at that already. Yes, Matt, the biggest buff, well, Briar Rose, Briar Rose is the most significant thing here by far. I'm going to, I'm going to make a deck with that tonight, if you don't believe me. And <laughs> it happens to be these, I just gained so many sparks by having not recycled. Everyone's like, Briar, recycling. 
Like, no, go jump in a lake. Man, I love that. Oh, I like the I like the BC class getting stronger. We're gonna have to make some ramp and Morticia decks, which I was thinking of anyway. All right, here's the goat. It's a three one science pet. So pet will work with this. Oh, it's a new pet card. And science will work with the Morticia amphibious. Okay. When played, another zombie gets plus two plus two. Ooh, nice. It's not even a gravestone. When hurt, bounce this goat. I like this card. I think this is gonna be useful. It's gonna be very good at uh, the BC class in terms of growing things. Then you bounce it. You put it in very you know key locations and stuff like that. You can even put it in the water, so it can uh, you know protect the water for a lane and then bounce. I like this card, and it, it leaves two two on the field. I, I like it. Uh, can you give itself two two? Another zombie. See if I'm just look at the stats though. Even without the whole thing, this would be a three five on turn three at worth of stats, which is amazing. Teleport is legendary. Uh, big surprise. And look at these. <laughs> what is this going to be? Conjure two superpowers. That's cool. So it's kind of an alternate alternate card instead of like um, instead of the. It, it'll be like instead of triplication. It only gives you two, but superpowers are better than average cards. This will be very good with tricksters because uh, drawing they'll draw you little cheap tricks, at which are OP. You know, superpowers are generally OP. I like that. Here's Kitchen Sink. <laughs> Zombie. Final. Bullseye. It gets like a little everything. First of all, t terrible stats if you just look at the, the raw stats. 3, 6, and armor. It's not very strong, but it does have Bullseye as Frenzy. If it's hitting face, it does 6 damage. It does overshoot and has armor. Okay, it's, a, it's like a chillin' pot of a zombie, and I'll take it. This looks like a really interesting card. Transform all zombies into random zombies that cost 5 or more. I think the ramp decks really need a card like this you basically can put with your nebulas and you start ramping up getting a lot of sun then you slap this on the board when you have a bunch of stuff on the board i, I like this this is going to be really good in zoo decks and stuff i, I love this card it's going to be hard to pull off this will be like sort of a it's like a mini garg feast almost <laughs> it just it transforms your minions instead of putting them on the board anything different firework zombie became super rare this is a top tier card and you four copies appear in every single crazy deck so valkyrie became legendary the way that goes uh, should have crafted your yeah pine cone became legendary i know i've skipped over that uh this became was this rare before i don't even remember and yeah anything else any new hardy oh this became super rare a eh, landscaper whatever they should have made this super rare they should have made should have made coach or, or mascot super rare instead of this thing these two cards are great now and it looks like we're going to be having a little something. Zombology teacher. Zombie tricks cost one less. So, wow. I'm just thinking Rust Bowl is the first one that comes to mind. Just with the... I like this. Wow. Zombie tricks cost one less. So, you can play a lot of tricks. This will be good with going viral, which draws you a card. And Alen costs two. It's a sign zombie too. So, it works with uh, their sign synergy, perhaps. I like it. I don't think it's broken. I think it's balanced. Uh, anything else? <laughs> toxic waste him since they've made imposter toxic waste him has really become a top tier card so i think i mentioned that in my last time i reviewed these here's imp throwing imp <laughs> when hurt make a random imp that costs two or less in a random lane this will be interesting i'm not sure if this will be good uh this is gonna be tough it depends how the throwing mechanics too if against a team up for example this would uh do two it would throw two two of them so that would this would become better it'd be a great answer for shroom for two um and here's the trapper. We're going to give you getting these this week. And that's going to be... This, I believe, actually is a good card. It works well with Gravedigger. And you don't have to put in... If you have a few copies of this, you don't actually have to put environments in your deck. I think this will be a good replacement for environments. You can obviously make the trapper territory on the plant environments to cover them up. It happens to be Mushroom Grotto isn't as much of a threat now. So the, that really changes... Mushroom Grotto was the metagame for environments. It was the best one for sure. Now that it costs three... Again, it's still definitely one of the better ones, but it's 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 changed it a lot. It's made the envir whole environment on the zombie side less urgent. It's not like you have to like you pass turn two just in case they play Mushroom Grotto, uh, and this will be able to you know cover up Mushroom Grotto easy. If they play Mushroom Grotto on three, you play this on four, you're gonna cover it. They're not gonna get that much value from it. So, all right, guys, <laughs> that was the review of everything that's changed in this game that was massive i can't wait to make the two decks i can't wait to make right now are flower decks which were pretty good last season not top tier but they were good and um and and sports decks especially that sports imp is incredible so anyway guys i hope that you enjoy that was all the new changes in the update 
Uh, so if you're watching this on Twitch, watching this on YouTube, I hope that you enjoyed. Let's go make some new decks. Fry Rose time. Let's do this.